Oh, Bad Boys. Oh, yes. Yeah, you were right. Bad Boys flopped. Did I say it was going to flop? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think. You were incredibly wrong. Well, no, no, not incredibly. <laughs> Here, let's go. Because what I believe I said was, I think it could do, I think it could do what we would consider well for now, but not what we would consider well for a major action movie weekend. And I think that's what's happening. Like this hundred million. 50 million opening weekend, right? I think it was a hundred million yeah. overall. Okay. 104. 104 overall. 105. Uh, whatever. And I think this number is indicative of the fact that overall numbers are much less. In the same way that when someone drops an album and it does like mm. 50,000 streams, they're the number one album. Mm. Back in the day, it had to do a million you know, buys. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just overall, it, it's a great number. I think it's awesome. It still shows that like the franchise has value, shows that Will and Martin have value and I'm sure they made a good movie. But I, if I'm looking at this as an exec, I'm not going, movies are back. I'm going, whew, we got to make a big adjustment because we sent these guys around the world on the craziest promo tour ever. Yeah. And it did well on an established franchise that has been around for, what is this? fucking 20 years or something like 25 that. 25 years. And then we hit that 100 mark. And then we'll see what happens this next weekend. Like, right. it might go off a fucking cliff. Hmm. But I'm looking at that as an exec, and I'm going, okay, we need to change this whole fucking thing up. Either movies got to get way less expensive, or we just need to start putting shit on streaming and find a different way to make money off them. Yeah, I'm curious to see the next week. I think it will, it's not going to stay exactly there, but I don't think it's going to have a steep drop off because yep. the movie good. is good. Yep. And I think a lot of people didn't go out because three wasn't that great. So they were like, so they're like hesitant. Yeah. Then when it did well, people and are now, like, okay, I'll go. Yeah. And the okay. feedback has been good. Yeah. Is yeah. Will forgiven or is everybody all good with Will? I think Will needs one more after this. Mm. Like, I think this is comeback. Now we're like, oh, Will, my God, it's still. And if the next one is crazy, then I think we're Are like we really that mad at Will. <laughs> I think we're dis I think we're let down. We're like disappointed. I don't think it's the slap. Oh, I think so it's his relationship with her. I think oh, like I thought it was a slap. No, I no, don't no. give a fuck about the slap. Like I do. That's I what really Hollywood yeah. cares yeah. about. Oh, I don't care about yeah. that. I, 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 I just like being in this relationship with this woman who's like clearly like toxic and abusive. Like I'm just like you're you're a leading man. You're a superstar. You're. I think we feel their relationship was fraudulent. We feel betrayed by yeah, like what together, they portray. So it's like if he has another box office hit and he's still with Jada, you're still gonna feel the same way. It's not gonna change anything in your eye. I think that they're way less public about their relationship. Like now, it just seems like Will is an entity, and then she's doing whatever they're doing. But it's not like every week we're gonna talk about why our marriage sucks on Red Table Talk or whatever. Yeah. You know, I don't even know if that shit is still going on. I don't think so. So it's like. I think, and that's better, because then we can ignore the fact that she's even alive. Because when, <laughs> no, like when you look at, like when you look at The Rock as like a superhero, you're like, I need to believe you are all the things of a superhero. If I find out that like your wife is saying wild shit and having affairs and doing all this other stuff, am I really gonna believe you're the man mm -hmm. when you're playing the leading dude in the action movie? I get that. I can't. I get that. It, like it, we, we like to believe that these people are actors, but like Vince Vaughn is Vince Vaughn in every movie to me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like Vince mm. Vaughn is the Vince Vaughn from Swingers. If I found out Vince had no game, I'd be like, wait, what, what the fuck? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Like, what's the guy from uh 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 Entourage? Vince and Chase? No, nah, the uh agent. Oh, Jeremy Colonel. Piven. Yeah, Jeremy oh. Piven. When I found out he's kind of like a little bit of like a nerd, I'm like, oh. <laughs> like what? Ah, when he was on here, I just I thought he was like uh, doing like a career. He was on our pod what, five yeah. years yeah, ago. Yeah, he was doing like a and little. He was doing a little career revival. And some of the lines he had, I was like, oh, this is your stock line. He just kept being like, I'm just a working class actor from Chicago. And then yeah, the yeah. third, I was in, but then like the third time he said it, I went home and I was like, oh, that's his like comeback line. Like mm -hmm. he's taking this to whatever press he does. Yeah, so but you a could, nice enough guy. But yeah, yeah. He's like he's, a, he's like an artsy it, theater but, nerd yeah. that like played this character that was awesome. Mm -hmm. And then once I found out that there was this massive chasm between those two, I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that happened with Will a little bit. But like, Will was the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to me. Yeah. Like, that's who he was. Yeah. He like, was the coolest person. The fucking coolest yeah. dude. And not only the cool, and he was a cool dude who was like, also self-deprecating. And, and funny. Like, he wasn't like, I, I, I need to be the cool guy and every, he's not like a, not to knock him, but like a Johnny Depp figure where you're like, I'm in this mysterious whatever. Yeah. 
It was like open. Personable, Person- kind of goofy. Yeah. Goofy, yeah. self-deprecating, vulnerable, but also saves the day. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's the best. You're the best. You're the fuck. And then you see him in this marriage that kind of sucks, and she's fucking R and B stars. And then the and slap is a manifestation of all of it. Yeah. Not being able to control your emotions in that moment. Pretty like, performative to, for her. Yeah, like... Whatever but Seeing him in person, I feel like we're getting the old will. Getting closer. Yeah, yeah. I think deep down we all want it. Like, if you I watch... If you, if you fell Charlotte in love with this guy... had the take that gave me the most empathy, which was like when he said uh, Will would see his mom get slapped and felt like he never protected her and that mm. always bothered him. And you wonder if that's what's flashing through his mind when he sees yeah. Jay to react. That was the first time I had any... I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, I do think maybe it's because deep down I want him to be back and I want to love him again and whatever because I used to fucking love him. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, you do find out it's all phony. Like she's having sex with your son's friends and you're just sitting there. That's crazy. Just weird. Just weird, Mark. Can you hand me that one? Yeah, so I think that everybody wants him to to be that and uh, it would be awesome if this did well. And I don't even know where this ends up going, but I do think that the movie industry, I think we were talking about this on, was it Patreon? Yeah. But like, I think we're about to enter like the greatest two decades of a film. You know how we just are in the greatest two decades of TV? Yeah. Like TV was incredible. Maybe it's the greatest decade. Maybe it's two. No, it's Mad Sopranos Man. is 2000 or something like that. Like TV 25 was, years of fantastic we, TV. We're spoiled. Yeah. Like spoiled, even internationally. Like the fact that that show came out of fucking Korea that we all watched. Squid Game. Squid Game. Squid Game. Like, yeah. there's these British shows. Luther, like. Luther's unbelievable. Globally. Sherlock was two seasons. Unbelievable. Great. It's like, we had this incredible run with TV. And I think we're about to enter that with film. And I think it's specifically because the studios won't be able to justify these crazy budgets. So the budget's going to come down. And then Marvel's going to go, well, I can't make the movie for 20 million. But you know what I can make is this cool script, for this amazing story. And then this awesome director that really wants to tell the story. And then you get the everything, everywhere, all at once. And you get a bunch more of those. And I think it was Cassetta that was saying, like, during the 80s, this is kind of what happened. You had all these, like, classic, iconic movies that weren't necessarily these huge franchises, but these, like, really great stories. Mm. And I think we get that for the next 20 years. And 70s with Cinema Nouveau. What is that, Cassetta? Uh, I mean, it's just the f- basically French influence over American cinema. And you have Spielberg. You have Francis Ford Coppola. You have all these... You know, Martin Scorsese. Mike hey, let Nichols. me tell you something, Cassetta. One thing we're not going to do on this podcast is give the French credit for anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay? You hear me? Yeah, I got uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but the fact that you did have this, like, I don't even want to, want to call it like renaissance, but you have this like amazing moment. I think that budgets are going to make that happen. It's not execs. Right, like the yeah. execs are going to greenlight what they can greenlight, and then once they find out they just can't afford these big money movie things, they're going to have to give money to these eight twenty four esque movies. What is it? Neon is the other one. Mm-hmm. They're kind of like taking chances. And I think we get some sick shit. Mm. How much of these Marvel movies flopping is their own doing? What do you mean? Eh, I hate to be the fucking guy who talks about like DEI or whatever, but it feels like they're forcing a lot of storylines that are just like trying to spotlight. Le- more inclusive stuff at the expense of good storytelling and organic storytelling and being funny and whatever, my, whatever other things. My opinion mm-hmm. is that the majority of it is they're trying to make hits out of characters that have weren't really established. Whereas, go, go. Thor, I don't remember any of us really giving a fuck about Thor before Thor. Iron Man, yeah. I don't remember. Like yeah. maybe yeah. comic book freaks, but the casual person was Here. Superman, Batman, I Spider Man. Think, I think uh, they just oversaturated themselves. Here, the, okay, I think there's something there too. But what I will say is this: we weren't like fans of Thor, but we all knew Thor. We weren't fans of Iron Man. Well, I think there were Iron Man fans, but we all knew of Iron One Man. One more example to counter this. Yeah, yeah. I had no fucking clue who the Guardians of the Galaxy were, and that shit was so good. Yeah, take, one was right, fucking so. amazing three was fucking amazing two I, think, I didn't love but I'll give you I'll give you Guardians of the Galaxy 100% I do think it. Guardians of the Galaxy is the beneficiary of billion dollar franchise after billion dollar franchise and just like a confidence in the institution and then I think that they start putting out the Marvels or whatever or whatever these these things that like I, I have no fucking clue like I grew up watching Sunday cartoons or whatever mm-hmm. like I watched X-Men, I watch it. Like, I have no clue who the Marvels are. Mm -hmm. I have no clue any of these characters. So now you got to, like, introduce them, make us fall in love with them. And while you're doing that, it seems like it's 
diversity forced down our throat. I even felt that about the Doctor Strange sequel when I loved the first Doctor Strange. The second one, I was like, ah, it just feels like they're forcing. And again, I don't want to be that guy, but it was like, yo, it's just forcing it. It's not organic. It's not good storytelling anymore. It just became something else. And I'm watching it on a plane mm. and I'm like, I don't want to finish this. But so Disney I, buys, oh, go ahead. Oh, I feel like it's oversaturation because like when Iron Man 1 came out, like we got a Marvel movie maybe once a year, maybe sometimes twice a year. That's it. And so it was so much easier for people to take a chance on this thing, like it and follow and keep, keep along the storyline. After they started making three, four movies a year, plus TV shows, and then they all kind of tied into one another. If you miss one thing, you kind of feel like, oh, damn, I'm, I'm lost from the storyline. So now I'm least, less invested to try the next movie that comes Is that, out. Dev, what were you going to say? No, I feel on, like on that, it was when that was coming out, you've got a master that was connecting everything, like Kevin Feige from Marvel, who was connecting everything, and then would like get to supervise that movie and that director. So it's like... Favreau, that was his world forever. And But as soon as they expanded to, to digital streaming everything, it's like, you can't have the same touch on everything and you're you know, you're just gonna lose quality, quality at that point. Drops, yeah. And then people are like, oh, we'll have some wins and some losses instead of like, who still only has wins is Pixar because Pixar is ready to throw out Yo, Oh, anything. that was Chifty's great point. There's a one or two misses for sure. Can but I like, ask y'all a question? Who watches Star Wars, yo? Right. Like, I... They keep on putting out. Are you like? Well, I, they fucked up. They put I, out too much. Apparently, there as well. Bro, it's not, watch. they put out a new series. It feels like every month. I barely watch Star Wars. I am not watching the Acolyte or whatever the fuck That's the newest thing. No, and I'm <laughs> sure it's fire. But like, I maybe I'm living in a completely separate world. Maybe there's like an age range that I just missed something. I watched all the Star Wars movies. I watched when they brought out. Remember they did the prequels, I think, when yeah. we were younger. Mm -hmm. yeah. I watched every single one of them. But I was never invested in this entire world. Disney operates as if Star Wars is Marvel. Is it Marvel and I'm just out the loop? To uh, Star Wars fans, yes it is. And are there enough Star Wars fans to justify it? Or are they I, biting off more than they can chew? I think so. It's still a major franchise. I don't it's think cute. it's as big as Marvel, but it, dude, Star Wars in the 70s and 80s was uh, I recognize at that time it was yeah. the craziest. That but was Marvel then, and now do, it's... But does the thirst justify the fact that they're making all these shows and I feel like they do less than Marvel. Like Marvel comes out with way more shit than Star Wars. I think Star Wars, Wars is wow. just doing TV shows because it's probably easier budget than movies yeah. and got content. It. And got that's it, why we're it. selling that. And they need shit for Disney+. Plus. But even like what you're saying about Acolyte being good, I, when was the last Marvel property? I can think of one in the past two, three years that's been- like, The mini wildly. Yoda. No, Marvel, Yoda. Marvel, which was that's a Spider-Man cartoon. Oh, I thought you said you oh, could yeah. think of one. Marvel, uh, just to my Marvel point. Like, I can't think of anybody being like, oh, this Marvel shit is and fire. Son, and yeah. that Spider-Man cartoon is barely Marvel. It's Sony had to get purchased by Marvel in order for them to make it. Like, yeah. Spider-Man just became part of the franchise. Mm. So Marvel has been full. Well, Marvel flopping. sold off all their characters. Say again? Way back in the 90s, Marvel sold off all the rights to the good characters. And then the fact that they made this whole, whole new Marvel universe, to your with, point. With the B characters. With the B characters. Yes, again, that's Iron Man, all that type shit is insane. Yeah. All their good characters got lost early on. So it who, is very- Who else? Spider-Man, who else? Right. Spider-Man, X-Men was off, Incredible Hulk, they don't really have access yeah. to. They got them all back in the 2010s as like rights and exclusivities. Yeah. But in the beginning, it was Iron Man. Like that's a crazy character. Now, what they, what I, I don't think, I know it sounds crazy, but I don't think Marvel gets enough credit for what they put put together. Like, I think they put together, like, the greatest run of films in history. I mean, they dominated cinema. They they kept cinema afloat for a decade. It was, and they wrapped it up perfectly. Like, what they did was, yeah. the fact that this guy came back to work. What the fuck is his name? The Marvel guy? James Gunn? Uh, Feige? Feige? No, 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 Robert Downey Jr. No, no, no. Feige? Yeah. Who is oh, the guy Feige. who orchestrated? The guy who runs uh, Disney. Oh, oh, Bob, Iger? Bob Iger? The Iger. fact that Bob Iger came back to work. You put out Endgame? And then you go to St. Bart's and you just live there. No, I don't. I think they bought Marvel after, right? They bought Marvel, if I'm not mistaken. Who, who, who? Disney. Yeah. Iger bought Marvel. Correct. So Iger wasn't involved. He bought Marvel and now they should just trash. No, 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 no. No, but they developed those. Uh, no, no, I, Iger was part of that whole yes. run. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, and Iger mm. was at the helm of Disney during that whole run. 2009, Disney bought Marvel. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then, so throughout that process, now Feige deserves the credit too, but my point is he retired after it and it was yeah. like, whoa, you had your Jordan moment. Like yeah. you're going off to the sunset. You hit the game winner and you just fucking leave. And then he came back like a year yeah. ago. Because if you care about the company and then you see the company on the decline, it's like- yeah. Low key, I respect that. Yeah. Like 
maybe it's like, wow, this is my legacy. I built this thing. And then they're going to throw it all away on fucking uh, trannies that it needs to be in the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, can we just acknowledge that when you see a trans character in a movie and nobody acts as if they're trans, it is incredibly unnatural. You're breaking the fourth wall. You are so fucking weird. No, 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 because let me so, tell you the reality. Let me so tell you. when you see a trans person in person, you're like, Dreddy! Like, what do you tell you? Act like a regular person. No, can I? Oh, are you gonna do that now? Can I, let me just, let me get this out. Get are em. you gonna do that right now? Because what happens is this, they walk by, you don't say anything, and then you immediately tap whoever's with you. There's none of that in the world, which Be makes honest. okay. Which in your makes, brain, in your in brain, your brain you're thinking okay, about. Okay. So what it happens yeah, is but the, in the brain they can't show that in a movie. What, my point is the whole world <laughs> deflates. They should. They should do Inside Out and go into the character's brain. <laughs> son, son, son. I'm watching Fallout, right? And there's like a pretty ass tranny in Fallout, right? But well, that's a nuclear holocaust, so that actually that could track. That Wait, could track. Which ones are? Ch it's a lot of you know. No. Wait, wait, did you watch Fallout? <laughs> I did. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. Whoa. Pull up, pull it up. Wait, 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 wait no, no, no. No. Was it the hot girl? Ah, uh, he jerked no. off to the wrong person. It's not the alien bitch, right? <laughs> no, 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 not oh, at all. Oh, okay, I'm like- Don't call her a bitch. <laughs> yeah. That's Ella Purnell. That's Ella Purnell. Purnell, you watch her fucking mouth. White bitch That's Lucy McClain. That's Lucy oxygen. McClain. She's, you watch her fucking mouth. She's a bad, she's a bad bitch. She's hey, don't you, hey, don't you call her a bitch. All right. She's okay. a bitch, a No! I smell it all Okay. Uh, fucking vault dweller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. About this then? That one. I didn't even see this person. You're lying. You're lying. Sometimes I just. I hate this <laughs> fucking. No, 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 no. I get I'm, it. I'm I get saying, it. No, 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 no decisions no. is my friend. And we, we, <laughs> no, you think you think I'm trying to do the? You think I'm trying to do the? All my friends are trans. All my friends are trans. See, and then we make one gay joke here. You're like, yo, chill. What the <laughs> fuck? Yo, that shit is mad gay. Yo, <laughs> listen. This beautiful. That's not what I'm saying, but you bailed me out, so it's good. This beautiful <laughs> day, them, okay, is on the show, playing a what? I don't know what the fuck. They're in the army. She got a little mustache going. So I don't know if it's a dude. And I, we have no fucking clue. And instead of focusing on the story, you're just like, what the, what is, get, 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 get. <laughs> you can't have a moment. You can't have a moment when you're watching a movie or story. You don't want to have a moment where you, just for diversity's sake, where you go, get, 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 get. <laughs> right? And just for diversity's sake, <laughs> keep in mind, there's a ghoul. There's a ghoul, right? A ghoul, there's a ghoul yeah. who's alive. It's a, they, they never die, these fucking ghouls. They acknowledge the ghoul. <laughs> they acknowledge it. They acknowledge that the human has transitioned into a ghoul. Everybody acknowledges it. The show acknowledges it. They go, I think you're a ghoul now. He goes, oh no, I'm a ghoul. They go away. Then they got this transistor on the fucking show. <laughs> And at no this point, is Jewish there's, no, no, it's no, it's there's no point during this show. There's no point where they go, are we going to let this bitch go to war? Like, there's no point at all. Yeah. Is it more they, forceful to acknowledge it, though? Is it more down your it throat? It makes you go, no, no, if you acknowledge it like you would, like you're it puts like. puts everyone at ease. It just, it just, it makes it real. It if you want the, the world to be real, we need to be real. Do you do it with so everything? Like, how do you acknowledge? So, so you got to yo, be like the guy uh, just goes. <laughs> so yeah, like yeah. one no, of the girls, no, the guys no, goes to his friend like, here's an example, hold on. Would you fight? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yes, yeah, you know, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah something. Yeah. Here's an example. I used to go on stage in these hood rooms. I would never address the fact that I'm Indian and none of them have seen an Indian outside of their bodega and I would bomb. And then I realized one day, oh, I just need to address that. Like if a guy, if a comic came up in a wheelchair, did an hour of jokes and never once mentioned the wheelchair, wouldn't you as an audience member be like, we can at least acknowledge we don't see this very often. Yeah, That's okay. all. We just acknowledge we don't see this very often. So the fact that you don't then, acknowledge... Go, go, go. I sorry. Watched, then I went back and as I was like kind of having a moment with myself of being like, why, why am I doing this? I'm going back through every comedy special of a minority. The first joke is addressing their race. Hmm. Because I'm just addressing this thing. I'm different than most of you. Let's just acknowledge it and then we move on. Hmm. That's what he's saying. Let's acknowledge I'm different than most of you. Not good or bad. I'm just different. You don't see it so I get what you say. Then we move Should on. Should they do it for the Little Mermaid where she's black? Yo, yo, can I be can, like, yeah, it's not because, black Little Mermaid. All the mermaids because, are different. Not it's because just, they just are different. Exactly. It's not weird. So you just watch it, you accept it. <laughs> if there's one black mermaid and she everybody else. Eyes, you <laughs> let, 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 me, let me tell you some shit. Let me tell you some shit. Okay. <laughs> Imagine yeah. the Little Mermaid on Earth. They don't acknowledge she a mermaid. That's what y'all are saying. Like, I've never seen a mermaid walking around on Earth. In the show, in the show, they they're bullying this dude for being the rookie, right? 
they're in Fallout. Mm-hmm. The black dude, they're bullying, yeah. they're kicking his fucking ass, they're beating the shit, they're making fun of him, they're teasing him. You're telling me there's a group of men that are gonna make fun of, tease, bully, physically abuse, and harm a dude, and then they got a motherfucking... Envy, it's a non-binary person. They got that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's they. They got a day. They got a day. They got, they got a they got they a got what the fuck walking around. <laughs> and they're not gonna have no jokes, nothing. Everybody's pals, everybody's cool, everybody's high-fiving. That's not a reality that we live in. If you if you speak to like army dudes, they'll say all jokes go. The black yeah, jokes yeah, are going yeah, with the black yeah. dudes, the fucking Chinese jokes are going with the Chinese. Everybody's making fun of each other in the most harsh ways. And because of that, there's this amazing camaraderie going on. But we just gonna not acknowledge so it. So how do you acknowledge it in a way that would be okay for TV? You call her be- Tuck. <laughs> But, but she doesn't have anything to tuck. <laughs> Say what? It's the opposite. I don't know what she is, bro. I don't Didn't know what the fuck it? she is. I don't know if she got it tucked. I don't know if she got it untucked. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Wait, but the fact what? that I don't know what's going on, it needs to be addressed. Because <laughs> let me tell you what they got in the future. They got ghouls mm. and, and that. <laughs> but we acknowledge the ghouls. Ain't nobody acknowledging that. <laughs> You're crazy. Why am I crazy? You're crazy, bro. <laughs> Why is it? Like, you have no actual thing to say, though. But yes, we acknowledge because, every character. Because you say we, when we acknowledge it in IRL, we do it in not a fucked to, up way. Not in a to fucked their up face. Way. Not yeah. to their face. Do it so in a fucked up way. Do it, in <laughs> do it in a fucked up way. How? So give me an do example. Do it mean. Do it bully. I just told you. No, you can't do that. Like you said, would you smash? You would still smash, right? Mm. Even if she just was, or they were just like, oh, just because I'm trans, blah 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 blah. That's it. That's oh, acknowledge it. it. Maybe they could they could get the joke off on this person. Bro, they, you, know you how, fucking crazy. Do you know how many These people, people are, are gonna creating be like, a fucking oh, oh, hold on. No, They're no, creating no. a nuclear holocaust environment, and they can't write in one joke. That's beyond their creativity. No, but There's she, fucking ghouls. She just, and they can acknowledge that, and they can't acknowledge. You are more racist than me. If he, yo, if Ma, he or she, you think that's that. so weird? They yo, can't you address it. Me, so yo, yo Ma, is out. there a they them in the in the in the video game? Is that character they them? I. Uh, don't know. I didn't play enough of it. Yo, someone looked like that seven. up. But if she said anything where he's like, oh, I'm trans, everybody would be killing the shows. Like, oh, that pander and that pander and that Not if you make fun of it. They're already on the show. Bro, she's just an actor or he. I don't know what the fuck it is. Exactly. That, 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 that. Say that. <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. I don't know how, what she identifies that. I'm just saying, Dude, they, yeah. you can't joke the leader, about it. Yes, you, you can't can. joke about it. The commander in the army I, could goes, goes, listen, you uh, 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 tell her that I need her to come in. Her, her, him, what the fuck? Are, it doesn't matter. Get the fuck up here. Saying that moment. That's transphobic. Is <laughs> the end of the world. Why I can't you be transphobic? <laughs> you can't be transphobic in the future? In the show. He's saying yeah, in the show. It's like a nuclear you're, holocaust. You're writing in a transphobic joke. That, like, People will be nah, outraged. Nah, there's a way to do it without it being, being transphobic. But you haven't shown me a way she that could, hasn't They been. could very easily co-sign something that they could make the joke about themselves. They can make the joke. It's, and if it's all jokes flying in the military, they're bullying a the guy. They make a black joke. They make a trans if joke. The joke ain't that actually shows we all get these jokes. We're all equal. There, I promise there's a way to do it. I, I promise. I agree there's a way to do it, but so far the examples you guys gave are. 100%. Oh, oh, no, oh, they can oh, 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 punch it up. Punch it up. Yeah, we're going to punch it up. So... What, what, what? He's a dude. It's, he's a dude in he's real life. described as a big, strong, burly man. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. It's, of course. In so, the video so, game, there is a robot that identifies as a woman. I just want to point There's out. a robot? Yeah. Mark? Let's For, go. And Fallout 4. Yeah. So, that's, so, so, yeah. so yeah. my point is about that. <laughs> <laughs> my point is, okay, so, in the, so what they have is they've put a trans person in there, and they have made them... Ambig, they are she, she or it or whatever the fuck is ambiguous. Oh why is that fucked up for me to? <laughs> why is that fucked up? You I, just called them it. I don't know what she identifies as or they, he. They, they, but they might not be they. They, they are, are they. No, sometimes they're he or she. No, you they're they. It, and you judging us. <laughs> Fucking racist. God You're knows so my racist. heart. Yeah, now God knows your heart. It's, a, it's an yeah, envy. Yeah, you right. here, throw us under the bus. This God knows your heart. Here's non-binary. the reality. Oh, okay. They are an absolutely beautiful, if they chose to be woman, they would be an absolutely stunningly beautiful woman. Stunning. No, 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 no. Like, if she shaved that little stash and everything like that, she's like a supermodel. <laughs> she's basically a supermodel, if she chose. If she, but as a dude. He, they. She's me. He, they. Wait, he, they. he, they? Yeah, it's he, they. 
What does that mean? Punk, bro. See? You can, you can say he or they. I think it's an, I think it's an and or. Oh Half Indian. God. The fact that we can't even get. Oh, that's the problem. problem. He's up. I take back. <laughs> I take back what I said. <laughs> I take back what I said. <laughs> yep. I take right. Yep. Yep. Now we all. Also, now yeah, we he's way better looking than you, real talk. You're giving yourself a lot of credit. I'm going to be honest with you. You're right. <laughs> he's a handsome motherfucker. What did I say? Like, he's not handsome. He's pretty. He's, yeah, but yeah, he is, sure. he is, oh, this is good. I'm getting it right. He. This is great. Oh, he is a bad bitch. <laughs> okay, got you. Yeah, I, oh, now no, no. Old bitches. No, he's oh. a bad bitch. He, that dude, is a fine ass bitch. <laughs> no, but he's a dude. He's a dude, but what he looks like is a girl I would fuck no. more. So, <laughs> okay, so it don't matter what you identify as, what I identify you as is a girl I would fuck, even though you're clearly a guy, because that's what you say. But he would fight you if, you, if, if he was here right now. He'd be like, yo, you're going to try to fuck me? He'd probably fuck me up because he's a dude. <laughs> yeah. But if he didn't and wanted to make love and I wasn't married with a child, you would oh, get some thrust. Thrust? <laughs> <laughs> okay? Once he whacks that statue, he gets some thrust. Oh, oh thrust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My point is, the fact that this is so confusing, this would be the only conversation that would happen on base. Mm. The only <laughs> conversation. I, and then, uh, I can't wait till they give you a movie. You could also easily write a transphobic character that he dunks on. Yeah. That'd be very easy. Mm. As a matter of fact, basically what you're saying is you can't have a movie with racism because it's gonna about black racism because it's gonna have racist comments. No, in. no, I don't. I'm not saying that at all. But that's, I do what, agree. that's why. How can they, you not handle it? Oh, there's no way to do it. Hey, no, uh, I'm hey, saying. Hey, I write said, Django. All your everything you say is gonna be in a No racism. Say that. No I racism. I'd say that. I said that you can address it, but you, the examples you guys. No, you said you can't. Yo, you said you can't. Put and the I said trannies you can't. in the movies. Yes. Put them in the TV shows, but have the characters react organically to them. That's all I'm saying. Yo, is that a dude or a girl? I don't know. Throw an apple. See if they catch it. That's that, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Simple as that. It's, that's all you did. Hollywood, hire Yo, me, bro. it doesn't that's mean that you treat them poorly. It doesn't mean that you're mean to them. It doesn't mean that you bully them. But when they're not there, there's the little conversation where you're like, yo, would you smash that fucking dude pussy or what? <laughs> you know what I mean? There's just a little combo about that. And the answer is, si se puede. Si se puede, carnal. Bro. Okay, okay Cassetta. You're half Indian, half what? Yo, that's still bothering <laughs> Spanish. That bothers me more than the trans. Nah, Spanish. Nah, that's one. Mendez Jones? Zelia Mendez Jones? She could be going. He, he. Could, oh, he could be going. Nah, he was, he was one of those witches that they actually found. Oh. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. You're going to scare Akash. He's going he to ask me. going to say, we got to cut this whole conversation. No. Why would I care? I'd send him money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that is, yeah. that is, I think that, it, it, you know, in the most toxic way possible, we came to a good conclusion, which is you can do the forced diversity, mm. but anytime you force something, you have to acknowledge it in a real way in the world. So like yeah. back in the day, if there was like a black doctor on TV, all the characters would be like, it's fucking... Black if he if there's a transphobic person, <laughs> yeah. now we're talking. No, wait, now we're talking. <laughs> First, I'm looking at him for the example. Yo, back, back in, in the, the day, day, like back in hey, the listen, day. Hey, listen, 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 back listen, in the listen. Day. If, so, if, if, we had Cosby. Right? Back in I was the about day. to say, Cosby, if women right? no question, Cosby was like, "Yo, this guy's black." If women questioned, <laughs> if women were a little more racist, they would have been. What? What? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. If women, if we're if women, if women we're, were a little bit more racist with Mr. Huxtable, <laughs> they would have been a. <laughs> that's a fact. Think about we're on it. Patreon. Think about it. If, if, if the women were like, we're if the women were like, ain't no <laughs> way this black dude's a doctor. They would have been. Lack of impulse control. That is a symptom of hate. <laughs> <laughs> Literally.